Hi, this is a tutorial on how to create a new EOS account using eostart.com. The way EOS account creation currently works is that only those who have an existing EOS account can create a new EOS account. Uh, this is because uh, you need to purchase some RAM in order to create a new account. And this needs to be done in an active uh, EOS account. So this also means that um, those who do not already have an EOS account uh, their only way to create a new account is through asking somebody that already has one and make one for them which is very very inconvenient for those who are uh, just starting out to uh, use EOS or transfer their funds to their own uh, EOS private wallets and whatnot so uh, what EOS Start does is allow users to uh, purchase that RAM and their new account through uh, paying BTC, LTC, Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin Cash so you will want to start out with uh, creating a new account name, which should be uh, less than 12 characters, which should be which should be exactly 12 characters and containing numbers between one and five. So I'll make an account called EOS Start Test One, and this name is available. I'll click on Buy Account. So on this page, you'll see. Uh, that you can put in your owner public key and active public key for regular users uh, these two should be the same so don't worry about it too much and if you do not already have a key pair you could either go to scatter which I already have linked I'm gonna personally use scatter so I'll show you with this this is my scatter I'll go to key pairs and then click on new make sure that I have the EOS blockchain selected and then generate key pair so here I'll have my public key and private key pair I'll copy that and then keep it in a safe place never never lose it so here's my public key and here's my private key what I'll do is copy my public key and then paste it into owner public key and active public key again if you don't already have a key pair you could either use scatter and do exactly what I did or you could click on this link provided on our web page and then click on generate EOS key. You should always keep your uh, private key and public key in a very, very safe place and never lose it. So the next step would be clicking on buy with crypto and this would take you direct directly to uh, Coinbase Commerce that we already have linked to our uh, portal. And then I'll type in my email address. This is to uh, send you the account information after we receive your payment. And we will also send you a receipt for the payment you made to your email address. So you must, you must enter your email address in this step. So there are four different payment options, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. I'll go with Litecoin because I have some Litecoin left uh, that I use for some tests. Right here it says 15 minutes awaiting payment. This means that you need to uh, make this payment within 15 minutes or else uh, this order will just be dismissed. Here's the Litecoin address I need to uh, deposit my LTC to. Right now I'm using a Wannabit wallet which is the service that we're uh, running currently. So I'm gonna go to LTC. I have my wallet listed here and then I'll put in the withdrawal address and then it says 0 0.16553055 I'll copy that and then paste it into the deposit amount withdrawal amount Right now I have a right now I have a 2FA enabled so I'm going to have to confirm my 2FA code. Six eight three. Six eight three three zero three. Click on send transaction. Confirm. Okay, now it's uh, pending. So uh, on Coinbase Commerce, in order to uh, confirm your payment, I think LTC takes yeah LTC takes two confirmations. 
Bitcoin and BCH1 confirmation and Ethereum 8 confirmations. See, right now uh, it shows that it detected your payment. So uh, now here you can see that your EOS account has been created, your uh, payment has been completed, and the transaction has been completed. Your EOS account will be listed right under checkout ID. And if you want to come back to this receipt page, you can always copy this and then keep it in a safe place so you can always come back to it. So if you want to check if your US account has been successfully registered, you can click on your US account and then it'll take you directly to eosflare.io where you can uh, see that your account has been registered properly with uh, 4 kilobytes of memory and 0.1 EOS each to CPU and bandwidth. So this was a tutorial on how to create a new EOS account using BTC, LTC, Ether, or Bitcoin Cash. And hope, hope, I hope this was a helpful video for everyone. And please do not hesitate to ask any questions uh, or send us an email for any business inquiries at help at wannabit.io. Thank you for watching.